Hadi, Amazad, made famous by Anthony Bourdain. How was your day? Tell me about your day traveling. It was good. It was just, um, we went, to, we walked around a lot and like the market streets and stuff. Got to see a bunch. We stopped by the tower thingy. And we ate kebab burritos. Kebab wrap. What do you, what's your first impressions about, uh, first impressions about Istanbul? It's good. There's a lot of, uh, like, Temples Sophia, and then the Blue Mosque, and then Grand Bazaar. All right. Hagia Sophia. Even this fountain is older than the U.S. Way older. These are clocks that are dated back to 1650. 1580. These watches are built in 1580. 1675, they were built in Paris. We're here at the Kartopi Palace. To 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 or whatever. And this the, um, this is the, it's kind of like the blue house in Korea. It's the, um, where the sultans live. There are things here that are older than cars. We're in the, uh, Sultan's harem. On the left is the uh, residence of the Black Eunuchs food service area. Concubines would play music and dance and play instruments up on that wood stage. This is the courtyard of the favorites. This is the uh, Enderun Abusu. Uh, third courtyard, this is where young boys were brought as a blood tax and trained to be um, sometimes high-ranking officials. I think this is probably from the Bible standard where Daniel and his three friends were brought into a system like this and trained. This captain was built in the uh, 1566. These talismanic shirts and clothes that ward off evil spirits and uh, bad health. And so that it would like, it was almost like a charm. And bad health. Just take a picture of this. This is the staff of the Prophet Moses. Inside there is John the Baptist's arm, bones from the arm, and his skull bone inside there. Sasha, this is the footprint of the Prophet Muhammad. David's sword. The sword of the Prophet David. Stone pot belonging to Abraham. 20th century BC. That stone pot belonged to Abraham, right? Look at 
at this. These drapes from tombs of various prophets. Prophet Jonah, Seth, Daniel, and St. George. Waiting for the uh, prayer to end at the uh, men are praying, the women are praying. This is the first time I've seen women actually pray, but it's uh, 1 45. It's all, prayer time's almost over. 15 more minutes and then we get to go inside. I know it looks like kind of Disneylandish. Kind of like Disneylandish with these uh, pretzel. There's something very like admirable that I appreciate about this prayer, you know, the daily prayer that they do. I mean, they all leave work and they come to pray. It's the cat sleeping inside the planter box. And turning into the Hagia Sophia. A lot of these frescoes, like that one, uh, when it got converted in 1453, they painted over the frescoes that had more Christian themes. This gate they said was built with the wood from Noah's Ark. For this outer area, this is where the women, kind of the, the Muslim women, are praying. And the inner part here, where all the men pray.
We're at another ruin. It's called Hierapolis. Heading up to the uh, theater. For the How's the day? This theater sat 10 to 12,000 people. Simple church, but this was discovered in 2011. Plutonian or Hades. It was the portal or gateway to the netherworld. This is where they uh, performed a lot of rituals. And this is the entrance to the cave. And from that cave came out natural, like, lethal, toxic fumes.
best view from any breakfast place. Just amazing view outside. We're at the Gorham Open Air Museum, which is basically a number of churches, monasteries, chapels that have been cut out in the stone and painted with different paintings. Can't really videotape inside. It's the uh, St. Basil Chapel. There's no pictures or videos allowed in there, so. Inside. six stories. This is where they would crush grapes and then the juice would flow into this area where they would collect it. Ryan's mad because I made him walk to the uh, Gorham Open Air Museum. Oh, look at the scenery, Ryan. It's beautiful. Ryan got his wish. We have Korean food. This is a Korean restaurant. This is Sundubu. They made their own Sundubu two days ago. Ryan got Hanya. Go see this little. It's definitely a hike that it's not like the ones in the Pacific Northwest. We're hiking to the next city called Uchisar and it goes through this valley called Pigeon Valley. We're in Uchisar Castle. They think maybe it was built sometime in 14th century or they said housed up to about a thousand people in this one big mound. Gorham is where we stayed. And we kind of hiked all through the valley. Right this way, we hiked this way and came to this city of Ichisar. Second floor, old part. He tied part, 4,000 years old, carved before Christ. Now you are entering new part, Christian part, carved after Christ. Christian part, carved 800 years old. Now we are in Christian part. This is small Christian church from 8th century AD, 30 people capacity. Baptizing stone for baptizing Christian babies on it. Two special Holes, each of them two meters deep. First hole to put water jar. They use water for baptizing baby. Second hole to put wine jar. Bring the mass ceremony. They drink the storage area. These places to store wheat, barley, lentil, rice, grain, seed. Millstone for grinding, making flour manual. 
the big holes to put water jars, wine jars, drinks, sections to store dried food. This type of niches for hanging dried meat, dried fruit with rope. About 20, 25 families share this big storage area. Look at here, blocking to store about 1,000 kilos. Five strong soldiers could move it from left to the right. They block this entrance to stop enemies. Stairs inside for soldiers climbing up and down with rope, shouting and warning people about danger. Functionally, you shout. Now we are in the quarter of poor class. This is the living room of a poor couple without children. Small and simple. Two people getting and sleep on the ground. That tunnel was going down other three floors to the six, seven, eight floor. After 10 meters, the rest of the tunnel collapsed down by erosion centuries ago. So no possibility for visitors going down other three floors. Other three floors, some immigrants live it further down. Immigrants were African origin people. They couldn't pay tax to the government. So store shelf to put wine glasses. They wish to put oil lamp for light. Mother in gratitude, some local children wrote their names. This the wine press. And then it would flow, wine press, yes. it would flow into this collecting area. <clears throat> We're leaving, leaving Ryan's, Ryan's living quarters. We are entering this one. Going up right. to Kobe's living quarters. This is the living room of a middle class family, bigger, more comfortable than lower class. They built this living room as duplex to economize the space, first floor, second floor. Grandfather, grandmother sleeping on the second floor. They had different entry exit on the top, not passing from here, not to disturb family. This big hall was covered with wooden material from the top, so they didn't fall down. Three children sleep in the separated bedroom. When the children were sleeping here, the hall was smaller. It was communication hall, like that hall. Those niches for hanging baby cradle, for hanging second baby cradle. This family had two babies at the same time. And this place to put wine jar, to put big water jar. This is kitchen, cooking area. One, 5,000 people share this big kitchen. There are many storage areas around the kitchen to store dried food, drinks, everything. This is fireplace. They used to put wood in the bottom. They lit fire for cooking. Smoke came up directly here. Smoke changed the color of the rock black. Finally, smoke in the kitchen escapes out through that tunnel. Through that tunnel. A circulation in the tunnel taking the smoke out. The enemies outside couldn't see smoke. Because professional cooks and waiters in the kitchen, they always cook at midnight. It served two functions, mortar and pestle for crushing food, fruit, spicy in the little holes. Second function, door to block the tunnel to stop enemies. 1,000 kilos, five strong soldiers could lift and roll it over there. In total, there were about 50 storage areas for feeding 5,000 people for a few months. Communication holes between walls. If somebody shouts behind the hall to inform the danger for others, the voice can be heard from 50 meters distance, like a loudspeaker. We are in the quarter of high class, high ceiling, better architecture, better ventilation, six people capacity, father, mother, four children. They all sleep on the ground. They covered ground with dry grass, sheep, skin, goat, skin to make that to sleep. The section to put big water jar, 100 liters water, one big water store for family. Other sections to store dry food, for putting oil lamp for light, communication holes, and Ventilation holes like window, and the need to put oil jars, wine jars, other drinks, and blocking to go big and heavy, 1,500 kilos. Eight strong soldiers could lift them. In the past, the floors of the cave at least ten times wider, and the cave was deeper. It was possible.